So, um, uh, this is uh, just an introduction to the TDF membership and uh, also to, let's say, the community itself and why to become a um, member uh, what, of the community and then of TGF. This is a usual um, talk I uh, used to give uh, at every conference and not only there. But this time I'm going to, to give this uh, with uh, our dear friend Mohamed Kara. And uh, who also edited the, the slide, so I will find some surprise. Uh, the LibreOffice community, uh, obviously, is a, is a community of people uh, spread all around the globe. And, uh, and this is really a great thing. And also, especially within this you know, uh, online event, we are experiencing maybe much more, even if, you know, in, in when we had all our conferences in person we saw so many people coming from the, the very parts of the globe but in this case they don't have to travel so uh, it's much better as we have uh, understood and seen uh, previously with um, the membership committee surveys uh, there are so many spoken languages and written obviously and this is again something uh, which uh, enriches the community itself, and but at the same time is something that could be uh, can be a barrier to for the communication between uh, the various people and various members of the community itself. Uh, then we obviously come from many different uh, and diverse uh, life experiences and so uh, and skills and so on. So this brings again um, uh, a rich effort to the community itself just because every one of us can have different uh, skills again and um, uh, you know uh, experiences of uh, life and, and work also. I wanted to highlight that the community is not uh, only developers but there is uh, every kind of um, because we have, uh, as we'll see, translators, people who cares about the documentation and so on. How to get involved? Uh, we are really, we try and strive to be really inclusive. And uh, so we are open to anyone, to everyone, sorry. And uh, this means that we have no kind of barriers, no kind of um, limits or, you know, to, to become a member, a part of our community. And um, obviously, you, using LibreOffice as a software, it's uh, the very first step to to become at least you know a user, and then you may appreciate the software, and you may probably uh, feel the, the the enthusiasm and the, the spirit, and you know the uh, the philosophy somehow, which is behind uh, LibreOffice and the open source software in general. So when you get that, when you, you can feel that, uh, you know, um, spirit, probably it's time to get in. Um, as I was saying before, every one of us has um, some passion or hobby or interest or somehow. And that could, they could be useful for the project. Just because, for example, I um, used to be a DJ in the past and a speaker. I'm still a professional speaker. Uh, so this is something that I try to apply and to uh, give us an effort to the project. So uh, I used to, for example, uh, give my voice for the video, the tutorials and whatever on the, um, of the LibreOffice and an announcement, for example. So in Italian, uh, usually the official, let's say, but not just because I'm uh, volunteering, the official Italian voice usually is me. But I mean, again, it's open to anyone who who wants to uh, give his voice or her voice. And so it's just enough to have some spare time and uh, good willing and uh, with no obligation, especially to be a community member, there is no obligation at all. Um, there are tons of things to do. And uh, so everyone is welcome to help uh, in uh, one of those things, which are uh, the most diverse, because as we'll see later, there are many activities which can be done in the spare time of a, of a user and a community, then a community member. The idea which is be behind the uh, being a, part, a participant, so being a member of the community, 
is to give back. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> what I mean is that uh, uh, everyone almost, uh, at least we will, uh, we um, we wish that any everyone knows that LibreOffice is free software, is open source software, so you may download it for free and use it uh, wherever and whenever you want. And this is clear, hopefully. But anyway, uh, we don't dislike having something back in terms of uh, usually contributions. And I mean, so doing something for the project or donations of money. But when and if you feel, you know, the uh, the need to give back something to the project, just because you, you, you trust, you see that uh, the, the project, the, the software is really awesome and you use it with profit probably and uh, you like it so much, sooner or later, hopefully, will come the time to uh, that you will feel that uh, you would like to give something back. So that's the re the good spirit and the moment to... Um, to be part of the community, at least, and then of uh, TDF, the foundation. Why contribute? First of all, I was saying, as I was saying just before, the satisfaction. I was telling you about, you know, my satisfaction when I saw my bug repos fixed. But this is just one of the satisfaction you can get back from, you know, uh, uh, being part of the project, because just feeling part of the project is already a, a reason of satisfaction to feel useful to others just because for example reporting the bugs uh, the, the bugs were fixed but not just for me but for everyone uh, getting touch getting in touch with the community and you know learn so many cultures and different languages and so on and it's something i really love and possibly meeting these people in person uh, as uh, as long as we can do that and so uh know different people and cultures being recognized by others because yes it may happen I'm, i mean i'm not that famous but sometimes it happens oh you gabriele i saw your video something like that which is something that anyway um gives a bit of satisfaction back and also um the uh advocating i mean encouraging others to join is something that um from my point of view, it gives a lot of satisfaction. Please, um, I can't see, uh, because of the present presentation screen, I can't see any message on the on the chat room and so on. So, uh, Stefan, if someone has to, something to say, just report to me because I can't see it. Thank you. So yeah, the, sure. <laughs> thank you. Uh, there is obviously uh, the, the side of growing your knowledge because, indeed, even if you apply with your personal skills and, and experience to the project, probably sooner or later you will face and you will meet some uh, other uh, skill. Just like today, I saw for the very first time the by bisecting in, in kind of live, as well as the performance and so on. So sooner or later, you're going to learn something and grow your knowledge. And uh, those knowledge and the membership itself could be a reference for job applications. You can put in your CV uh, all those experience you you uh, you had and also the membership itself. Then fixing your bugs or letting get uh, letting them, them to get fixed, which is what I was mentioning before. Finding your name in the credits because why not? At the end of the the story, there is a page of the credits of on the LibreOffice website, and find your name there is always uh, a satisfaction as well. And finally, to make the difference, because as someone more famous than me said, if you want the world to change, just uh, you know, be the change of the world. Uh, everyone knows uh, what is LibreOffice, but what about the Document Liberation Project? This is something I want to always push, just because um, sometimes the document foundation is you know uh, recognized just just like libreoffice itself while the document foundation is the home for libreoffice project but also for the Doc document liberation project for those who uh, doesn't know what is a document liberation project it is um, the, the 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 part of the software uh, which gives you the possibility to open and save in different formats just like uh, SVG, for example, or Corel Draw, for example, to 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 just to cite some of them, 
And this is possible thanks to um, the filters, which are those pieces of software. And uh, the team who cares for the filters is the Document Liberation Project. And the name of it is, I think, is self-explanatory. So uh, how to contribute to um, LibreOffice? I would hand over uh, to Mohammed here so he can uh, continue the presentation. Thank you, Gabriele. Uh, could you please confirm you hear me? Yes, okay, definitely. Thank you. Yes, uh, everything fine. Thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks to Gabriele for explaining uh, why to contribute. Now let's talk about how to contribute to LibreOffice and Document Liberation Project. You can contribute in various ways like marketing, documentation, translations, quality assurance, infrastructure. Uh, you can contribute with design and you can also take part in development of the projects. Uh, now let's talk yes. about them in detail. Yes, I just want to uh, remark that um, the icons, I don't know if you can see my... Uh... Arrow, yeah, okay. Can you see it? As you can see, the the two yeah, icons. Works. This is the LibreOffice project, which is obviously a present in all of this activity. While some of them are really are all um, also, uh, how to say, applicable to the document liberation project. Thank you. Thank you. And first, uh, first topic to talk about in detail is marketing. You can. You know uh, if, if how how good and beautiful is your project and product uh, or software doesn't matter if you can't market it to people uh, to have users to use it uh, who will use uh, benefit from it and appreciate it so marketing is uh, a crucial part of the project you can uh, go to conferences uh, and seminars, talk about uh, LibreOffice and DLP. You can also organize yourself some conferences or seminars. By the way, if uh, you would like to organize something locally, for example, you can ask for support, uh, financial support or uh, for mentorship. You can uh, run training sessions. You can train people about LibreOffice on a uh, user level or uh, developer level, technical level. Uh, you can contribute with promotions. Uh, I don't know if uh, this is a typo locally. No, it's. It, it meant, be, it meant yeah. you know, locally and globally yeah, in yeah. The, at the same time. So. Yeah, I, I, uh, I thought so. Uh, globally, you can uh, do your promotions uh, on a local level and they can uh, combine it, uh, resulting in, a in some global promotion. You can promote LibreOffice in your school at your workplace, in your country. Uh, you can do, uh, especially nowadays, since uh, most things are being online, you can easily do some international uh, promotional uh, things. Then you can prepare promotional stuff, uh, which can be reused by, by others also, uh, like photos, presentations, videos, interviews. Uh, you can, for example, interview with uh, someone uh, well-known and uh, publish that. You can also help spreading the love of LibreOffice and DLP on social networks. Uh, Mohammed, there is some kind of noise on your microphone, just like if you are, are you know, um, How about now? touching much much better thank you okay it was uh hanging <laughs> okay and uh, about documentation uh, again it is a very important part of the project 
by the way, uh, I will probably be repeating this sentence uh, because all parts of the uh, project are very important. I think of it like a uh, human body which which needs to be in harmony and all parts needs to be healthy so that you will be healthy and productive. Good. I like this. <laughs> uh, for documentation, uh, the this part I am talking about when I say documentation here, it is mostly about user documentation or uh, for regular users, common users or expert level users. Uh, we have a documentation team uh, writing and updating, maintaining uh, our documentation, writing manuals, maintaining our online help, also our wiki pages. You can contribute in all of them or one of them as you as you like if you would like to uh, join the documentation team you can just uh, go to libreoffice.org and uh, click on the get involved link then under that you will find the relevant links to uh, join mailing list of uh, documentation team you can also uh, write uh, file format papers for DLP and uh, you can support others in English or your language. You can do this on mailing lists by uh, taking part in discussions, providing feedback, uh, answering questions of other users. You can also do that on social networks and LibreOffice Ask, which is uh, a platform question and answer platform you can search through questions uh, and you can answer the questions with which haven't been answered yet it uh, it is uh, it is very important because it serves as a knowledge base it's a memory for all users uh, if you even even asking a question there is a contribution because if someone else is capable of answering that and answers then even if after you are done with it uh, other people in the future will find that and benefit from it i want to add really quickly and probably we should go a little bit uh, faster just because the time is uh, running fast, that, uh, for example, in documentation team, you don't have always to know English just because sometimes uh, when you when the manual are, are, are translated in uh, your native language, you, you could be a translator and we'll see it, but you could also just provide the screenshots. So the screenshots, I mean, it's not about translating. It's just about taking the very same image of the software in, in your locale. So that's it. Thank you. And uh, you can provide translations. It's uh, a common part of almost all open source projects, large open source projects. Uh, they all have translation and localization teams because uh, open source projects are meant to be used all over the world uh, by people uh, speaking different languages. So you can help LibreOffice speak in your language. You can uh, translate manuals, translate online help, translate the website, wiki pages. You can translate LibreOffice interface or market marketing stuff. For manuals, uh, you should probably join the uh, documentation team. For website, uh, you might need a bit of uh, knowledge about Silverstripe. Uh, for Probably the easy, easiest to uh, to get involved here from this list are wiki pages and LibreOffice interface because for wiki pages you don't need any permission to start. You just go register on the wiki and start contributing by creating uh, new uh, pages uh, in your language. 
you can create uh, local versions of existing pages, for example. Or you can just go to our uh, WebLate instance where uh, translations are done for the interface and start translating LibreOffice. I just had to that. I just add that uh, I must update the, the slide just because the, yeah. <laughs> the picture here is about Puto. I'm sorry, I didn't realize we now have WebLate. And also, please notice that all the links in blue, they are hyperlinks. So when and uh, we will uh, let the, the slides available, obviously, and when you will download them, you will be able to click on them and go straight to the uh, resources we are talking about. Thank you. And uh, you can also contribute with quality assurance which is again a very important part because it uh, like uh, as its name says assures quality of uh, LibreOffice. Uh, it is mainly uh, it can be uh, divided into two parts uh, as its benefits uh, probably Although there are uh, some more exp experienced people uh, among us probably on quality assurance, you can get help from them when you would like to get involved, like Ilmarie. Uh, one is uh, assuring the quality by, uh, for example, testing uh, beta versions or development versions of the software and reporting bugs you encounter. The other one is uh, when when someone uh, reports a bug, uh, there, there is a work that needs to be done before it can be fixed by developers. That is bug triaging. Uh, and it, it, it can, uh, it uh, simply consists of uh, looking into newly reported bugs and triaging them, categorizing them, making sure they are real bugs and uh, maybe uh, finding the exact points where it started to, uh, where it started, like some bugs may start at, at a certain point, so you can find that point. You mean the history of the project, so yeah. in which version? Yeah. You, you can find where it started uh, without knowing any programming. We have instructions for this. This is called by by section. When you do this, you make that bug report ready to be worked on by developers. You can, uh, as I said, uh, join in bug hunting by beta testing. Uh, you can report broken links, uh, prepare files for import export filters and uh, you can report layout mismatches like uh, if you open a uh, docx file uh, and you see some uh, visual discrepancies you can report those i have a question for cisco and then i, I will read the, the answer afterwards if this this bug shown is one of them or the ones fixed or not because at the moment uh, it's just a screenshot i can't and I also can check now. <laughs> and uh, design, uh, if uh, you feel like, I mean, the, the design is, why design is important is uh, it, it is related to the face of LibreOffice. Uh, under the hood, how good is uh, software? Uh, how good how good you make it uh, doesn't matter to the user if you present it with an unusable or ugly interface so it is again a very important part and uh, if you have some talent in that regard or you see some parts of libreoffice that could be better if you think you can do it better please come come and join the design team. Uh, there are very friendly people in the design team. They usually hang out in Telegram uh, group. You can just uh, join and pick up a task. 
uh, you can contribute by preparing templates. Uh, you can help with beautifying and standardizing uh, user interface. You can help with icons and dialog windows. And you can also help with infra if you are, for example, a GNU Linux veteran or a Linux system admin uh, or a technical person who would like to help with those. You can uh, help help our infra team uh, to keep our platforms running. Uh, we have Bugzilla, Gerit, OpenGrok, Wiki, Tinderbox, and the list goes on. There is a, a long list uh, where uh, our small infra team team is uh, maintaining. So your help there. Uh, will be much appreciated. And development, uh, finally. <laughs> we just have two minutes. Cool. Uh, and uh, this is again a very important part. Uh, in the body of LibreOffice, I see it like the beating heart uh, because it it moves the underlying uh, infra of the project moving. Uh, it brings new features, features and uh, fixes bugs. That's the part. Uh, you can contribute with development. Uh, you can contribute with macro writing, extensions, easy eggs, or you can uh, contribute directly to the core. Maybe at some point you can become a LibreOffice certified developer, you can find a job with that. We usually hang out in LibreOffice dev channel on IRC and we, uh, from time to time, we run hackfests and workshops. So if you're okay, I would take uh, back the word and- Yeah, just thank do... you, Gabriel. No, thank you for your um, interesting, I mean, uh, I really like this because um, being just me, you have a different perspective, let's say that. So uh, it's really uh, enriching the, the speech itself. So really quickly, why to become a member of the TDF? So why to uh, apply for membership? If you contribute regularly, regularly means that you do now and then something. You don't have to do tons of things or huge work or huge effort, but for us, the importance okay, sorry, is... Sorry, Gabriel, let, let me yeah. intervene, please, because um, we are running out of time now, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I want to thank you and uh, Mohamed Kara very much for this interesting uh, talk. But, um, be, um, yeah, Italo is waiting for the next slot. So thank you very much um, to show us how to contribute to to this um, TDF membership and what's the possibilities. Uh, um, and have there. Thank you very much, and um, keep on going on on this uh, on this matter. Thank you. Thank you.